हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस वन अनदर टॉपिक फ्रॉम आवर चैप्टर लाइफ प्रोसेसेस एज वी नो दैट लाइफ प्रोसेसेस आर द सर्टेन एसेंशियल प्रोसेस व्हिच यूज टू कीप रनिंग इनसाइड द बॉडी ऑफ ए लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म टू सस्टेन द लाइफ सो इन आवर बॉडी देयर आर सर्टेन फंक्शनिंग्स व्हिच वी नीड टू परफॉर्म ऑन डे टू डे बेसिस एवरी डे वी नीड टू परफॉर्म द डाइजेशन रेस्पिरेशन transportation or circulation likewise that we also need to perform the excretion now what exactly this excretion is so in today's class we will discuss about the process of excretion in organisms as we know that living organisms are made up of the cells and inside the cells several biochemical reactions are going on continuously these biochemical reactions lead to the formation of the toxic or poisonous substances and they also create the imbalance of water and salt inside our body removal of these toxic substances removal of these toxic substances is known as excretion so whenever we used to talk about the term excretion we used to say due to the chemical reactions which used to take place inside the cells of our body several toxic or poisonous substances are formed and removal of them is known as excretion the best example even during the oxidation of food carbon dioxide is formed and now removal of this carbon dioxide from our body is also termed as excretion at the same time during these chemical reactions inside the cells there will be a imbalance of water and imbalance of salt so the another important uh, term what we used to do uh, discuss over here is named as osmo regulation what exactly it is process of process of balancing the water and salt concentration in our body so whenever we used to discuss about excretion along with it we also used to discuss about the osmo regulation so we need to remember that our body is made up of the cell inside the cells chemical reactions are going on these chemical reactions lead to the formation of the toxic or poisonous substances toxic or poisonous substances removal of these substances from our body is named as excretion at the same time these biochemical reactions lead to the formation of imbalance of water and salts in our body and the process by which we used to maintain the iron or uh, salt or uh, water concentration in our body is named as osmo regulation this is important for mcq now when we start to discuss about the excretory organs present in human body we used to say we used to classified into two main parts primary excretory organ and secondary excretory organ primary their main function is to remove the metabolic waste from our body example paired kidney they help in the help in formation of formation of urine okay so we used to remove the major metabolic waste from our body in the form of urine there are certain accessory excretory organs which are named as secondary uh, excretory organs their main function is different but along with their main function they also used to perform excretion for example liver helps in the formation of urea
the large intestine this is large intestine help in removal of ions skin help in sweat formation lungs removal of carbon dioxide and saliva help in removal of certain ions and drugs so they used to perform several different important functions but along with it they also help in the removal of metabolic waste so they are named as secondary primary which major function is to perform excretion only now when we start to discuss in detail about the excretory system of human we used to say that this is made up of this system is made up of paired structures and unpaired structures the <coughs> structural unit is kidney paired hai present inside the abdominal cavity but towards the backward side so kidney is located towards the backward side of abdominal cavity it is a bean shaped organ inside which urine will be formed from the kidney this urine is carried out towards the urinary bladder by the paired ureters so the ureters used to carry the urine from kidney towards the urinary bladder then bladder used to store the urine temporarily and then with the help of urethra we used to release this urine into environment and this releasing process is known as maturation that process is known as maturation now let's understand this process with the help of diagram <coughs> there is a paired structure named as kidney right kidney is located below though the size of kidney are equal size of both kidney are equal but right is located below right is located below due to presence of liver due to presence of liver so right is located below in compared to left due to presence of liver inside the kidneys renal artery used to bring used to bring uncleaned blood unclean blood whenever we use the term unclean blood means it contains means it contains urea in it more urea in it whereas so renal artery will bring the unclean blood inside the kidney this blood will be cleaned with the help of nephron these nephron these nephron these nephron are the are the structural and functional unit of our kidney now they will clean the blood they will form the urine this urine will be carried out by the ureters so these ureters carry the urine towards urinary bladder whereas this renal vein it used to carry away the it used to carry away the <coughs> clean 
clean blood clean blood means contain least amount of urea in it it contain least amount of urea in it so this is the diagrammatic representation both the kidneys are equal in size but right is located bit below due to the presence of liver inside the kidney renal artery brings the unclean blood the blood which contain more urea in it in kidney the structural or functional unit is present which is named as nephron these nephrons help in the formation of urine functional unit they help in formation of urine the formed urine the formed urine is carried out with the help of ureters towards the urinary bladder inside the bladder this urine is stored temporarily it is stored temporarily then <clears throat> then these sphincters used to get opened and we used to release the urine into environment with the help of urethra now for mcq you need to remember that renal vein contain the least amount of urea whereas hepatic vein contain the maximum amount of urea why so we will discuss further now yahan tak clear hua we are we are discussing about the uh, topic excretion जब भी हम एक्सक्रीशन की बात करेंगे वी विल से अवर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ द सेल इनसाइड द सेल सेवरल बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शन आर गोइंग ऑन दीज केमिकल रिएक्शन प्रोड्यूस इज द टॉक्सिक वेस्ट रिम्यूवल ऑफ दीज टॉक्सिक वेस्ट इज नोन एज एक्सक्रीशन वेयर एज बैलेंसिंग ऑफ वॉटर एंड आयन इन साइड आवर बॉडी इज नेम्ड एज ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन आवर एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम परफॉर्म टू फंक्शन आवर किडनी परफॉर्म टू मेन फंक्शन वन इज एक्सक्रीशन रिमूवल ऑफ टॉक्सिक वेस्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन बैलेंसिंग ऑफ वॉटर एंड आयन इन साइड आवर बॉडी नाउ दीज टॉक्सिक वेस्ट आर रिलीज आउट फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिन the excretory organs are divided into two categories classified into two categories primary major function is excretion kidney the secondary which used to perform uh, excretion as an additional or accessory functions their examples are liver large intestine lungs uh, skin and saliva now this is the structure of our human excretory system it made up of Uh, paired kidney paired ureters unpaired urinary bladder and unpaired urethra inside the kidney renal artery brings the unclean blood and renal vein carries the clean blood unclean clean ko compare kare unclean contain more amount of urea clean contain least amount of urea in it now the structural and functional unit of kidney is nephron now inside the kidney two regions are present the darker cortex and lighter medulla the darker part used to get embedded inside the lighter regions only now these nephrons are the structural and functional unit which help in the formation of urine now this is the actual structure of nephron the renal artery further divided into the branches and form afferent arteriole it lead to the formation of a a membranous structure glomerulus then efferent arteriole this is bowman capsule capsule like structure further more the tubular part proximal convoluted tube loop of henle distal convoluted tube and collecting duct this efferent arteriole in uh, innervates the uh, tubular part and further used to get connected with renal vein so this is the actual structure of nephron now how it used to work now you need to understand first <coughs> that what is the functioning mechanism of excretory system it used to get completed in two steps the excretion process used to get completed in two steps 
The first is formation of urea, which used to take place inside the liver. Since it is formed inside the liver, so from liver, the vessel which used to carry the urea contain the maximum amount and that is our hepatic vein. So hepatic vein used to carry the maximum amount of urea. You need to remember one more question hai, and this entire process is named as ornithin cycle. The urine is formed inside the nephrons of the kidney and it is a three step process ultra filtration, selective reabsorption and tubular secretion. How it used to take place. Now see, here the renal artery se blood is coming. If you will see the difference between the diameter, efferent arteriole is having larger diameter and efferent is having least diameter. As a result, pressure is created over here and blood start to get filtering. This filtrate enters into the Bowman capsule and it will lead to the formation of primary urine. So this primary urine is formed, is formed due to the process of, process of ultra filtration and contain and contain useful as well as waste product so it contains glucose water urea ions drugs etc we just want to remove the toxic waste and we want to sustain the useful products like glucose, water, ions inside our body only. So now what happens? The second process used to take place near to proximal convoluted tube. Near to it, near to it, selective reabsorption takes place what exactly it is reabsorbing of you uh, useful product what is this reabsorption reabsorb of useful products now the filtrate or primary urine will move further on will enter into the loop of Henle. Inside it, water used to get absorbed. The filtrate will move further near to distal convoluted tube. Near to distal convoluted tube, near to it tubular secretion takes place now so the urine formation is a three step process first is ultra filtration first is ultra filtration this is our first step second one is selective reabsorption and third one is tubular secretion <coughs> filtrate hoga filtration ke baad mein is filtrate mein primary urine mein useful or waste dono product present hai in mein se useful ko hum reabsorb kar lenge reabsorb karne ke baad yahan se Useful product like water, ions, they will enter into the blood vessels and waste product like urea enters into the distal convoluted tube. Finally, inside the collecting duct, liquid is present, liquid is present, named as 
urine. This this is urine. So three step process is there. Filtrate hoga. Useful product ko hum absorb kar lenge. And then tubular secretion hoga. This way hum useful product ko wapas blood vessels mein bejenge. Or waste product ko distal convoluted tube mein bejenge. In the end in collecting duct a liquid is present which is named as urine. So first urea formation hua inside the liver. Then urine formation hua inside the kidney inside nephron of inside nephron of kidney okay formation of urea inside the liver and urine in kidney ultra filtration due to the difference between diameter or afferent and efferent arteriole blood used to get filtered inside the bowman capsule the filtration contains the useful product as well as waste product the process by which we used to reabsorb the useful product is known as selective reabsorption and then there will be exchange of useful and waste product near to distal convoluted tube which is named as tubular secretion now once the urine is formed this urine will enter into the renal pelvis part then inside the ureter urinary bladder and with the help of urethra we will release into micturition now sometimes our kidney becomes unable to uh, uh, perform this uh, function and that condition is known as renal failure so renal failure is the condition in which kidneys are unable to clean the blood now there are two type of treatment short term and long term in short term treatment we utilize the process of dialysis whereas in long term treatment we used to suggest the kidney transplantation it's over for excretion thank you